Prosecutors have always claimed Merritt killed the family over money and over the last few months presented a mostly circumstantial case to the jury. And according to some defense experts, they believe the lack of physical evidence in the case may lead to doubt in the jury. It began with the disappearance of an entire family, Joseph and Summer McStay and their two young boys, four-year-old Gianni and three-year-old Joseph. Now, nearly a decade later, the mystery surrounding what happened to them could finally be coming to an end. You can't just look at one thing in isolation. It is one big piece of collective evidence. After more than four months of trial, tomorrow morning, Charles Merritt, Joseph's former business partner, and the man accused of killing the family will learn his fate. That greed and self-interest motivated a man to kill a family of four and take them from this earth. It was February 2010 when the family of four vanished from their Fallbrook home without a trace. Investigators found no signs of foul play, only a hasty departure with unopened groceries left on the counter. Four days later, the mystery deepened when the family's SUV was found near the San Isidro border. Greeny surveillance video and other evidence led to speculation they left voluntarily, possibly into Mexico. More than three years would pass before their bodies were found buried in shallow graves in the Mojave Desert. The family had been bludgeoned to death. It was blow after blow after blow to a child's skull, a three-year-old and a four-year-old. That is an intentional killing. Prosecutors believe Merritt killed the family over money after Joseph found out he'd stolen more than $40,000 from their business. They claim surveillance video and cell phone evidence link him to the crime. The defense, however... They predetermined he's the guy, and they didn't look at anything else. Claims they have the wrong guy. We have conclusive proof that Chase Merritt had nothing to do with this. San Diego defense attorney Brian Watkins, who is not associated with the case, previously told News 8 the lack of physical evidence could put doubt in the minds of jurors. And the question is, is can you find this man guilty beyond any reasonable doubt? And it's the prosecution's burden to put on all that evidence. And again, the jury is expected to read the verdict tomorrow. News 8 will be heading up to San Bernardino County to cover it. If convicted, Merritt could face the death penalty.